Hi, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Sudhakar, and today we are going to discuss stored functions in TSQL language. Okay, so now we will discuss stored functions. What exactly? How these functions are created by user, and what kind of syntaxes we should follow when you want to create a function or else to call a function. Okay, so generally the stored functions. Okay, so why we need to create? Okay, that all kind of information we are going to discuss in this session. Okay, let us see now. So first of all, we will discuss here the what exactly stored function and how we can define this stored function now. Okay, stored function. So now I am going to take here stored functions in TSQL language. Okay, so basically we can say that the stored functions are nothing but functions only, but these functions are created by programmer or user. So whenever the user is created its own function to reach our requirements, then there we can go to use your stored functions. And why it was called as stored functions means whatever the programmer is going to create these functions, these functions are going to store in your database memory. So that is the reason we called it as a stored function. Okay, but you are generally you are, are you discussing the functions in your front end cell languages like uh, uh, C, C++, Java and C sharp dot net language also we use your functions. Okay, so I hope that you have some awareness on function definition. Okay, but once again I repeated what exactly function definition and function what how it will be created. Okay, so now simple I can say now a function is uh, is a block of code simple i can say is a block of code okay which will perform which will perform some operation which will perform some operation otherwise you can say operation on the given values and returns otherwise we can say it must return and must return a value because function is always returns a value remember so function is always returns a value. So, that what we defined here the stored function what exactly means the function stored function is nothing but function only. So, a function is a block of code which will perform some operation on the given values and must return a value. So, this is what we call simply the function definition. Okay. But this functions okay, we called as a user defined functions also we called. So, why we call user defined functions means these functions are created by user or programmer as per their requirement. So, that is what we can call here stored functions are also called as user defined functions in TSQL language functions in TSQL language okay, because these functions are created by programmer. Okay. And later the how many types and how many ways the user will create stored functions means here yeah, the stored functions the user will design in two ways he will be designed or created. Okay. So, that means I can say the user okay, will define or will create or will define two types of stored functions. Okay. So, those are those are first one we called as scalar scalar valued functions and the second one we called as a table valued valued functions. Okay. So, second one is table valued functions. So, these are the two types of functions I can create in my TSQL language. Okay. So, but what is the differences between the scalar valued functions as well as table valued functions means? So, simply we can define now. So, first I am going to using here okay, working with working with scalar valued functions. Okay. So, let us see now first in this session I will show you how to define and how to create your scalar valued functions and uh, later we will discuss table valued functions. Okay. Function is scalar valued functions. Okay. So, now we will see. So, what exactly the scalar valued function means the simply we can define. Okay. Simply we can define. So, in this case in this case a function in this case a function will returns a single Okay, returns a single value or else a single okay, or else a single column value from the table. So, simple I can say. So, in this function what, what we want to do now? So, in this a function will returns a single value 
or else a single column value from the table. So that means by seeing this definition what you understand here, scalar functions are not written or it will be not written more than one value. So more than one value I cannot return by using what now scalar valued function. Okay. So it will be written only one value it will be written more than one value is not uh, possible. Okay. So, this is what simply we call a definition of your scalar function. But these scalar functions how to create in my database means I should follow some syntax here. The what kind of syntax I want to follow to create a stored valued function in this category one of the function is scalar valued function. So, now I will show the syntax of scalar valued functions how to create in TSQL. So, now below I am going to write here the syntax what exactly here now you can see my syntax is create or and I am using here alter. So, why I am going to kept this r alter in my set brackets means the set brackets are representing optional. So, this is not every time I do not want to use. So, when I want to use this alter command means whenever you want to do any kind of modifications do you want to perform on existing functions then there you can use a alter because in previous classes also we discuss in your SQL language. Okay. In our SQL language we discuss alter command. So, alter command especially we are using whenever you want to change or modify the structure of the table or the structure of the database okay, or the structure of the view. Okay. So, any kind of uh, the object structure do you want to change or modify there we can use what now alter command. So, in the same pattern whatever the function I am going to creating or preparing here this function in future do you want to change any kind of modifications then you can go to use alter command. Okay. So, that is why, but this alter command is just for optional. So, whenever you want to require to modify anything in your function is nothing but existing function there only you can use your alter, but other than do not use it. Okay. So, now I am using now create or alter. So, I am going to give you a predefined name the function is a predefined key function and now I want to send now what I want to say. So, simply I just pass your the function name so, f name is nothing but function name and later along with this function I want to send some parameters now. Okay. So, now I am going to sending parameters, but you know that in TSQL if you want to declare a parameter, okay, how we can declare a parameter you know that. So, I want to use here at the rate uh, prefixed symbol for every parameter declaration. Okay. So, at the rate I am using and later I am sending here parameter name. So, parameter name I am going to take now. So, name 1 because there are so many parameters you can declare. So, that is why I am taking here parameter 1. Okay. So, now and later immediately you can apply your data type. So, that means what exactly the what kind of or what type of parameter are you declaring now. So, that you have to send your data type. After sending data type suppose your data type is a character. Okay. Otherwise, your data type is a binary. Okay. Then you should be required Okay, you should be required what now size. So, that is why I just give it your size and comma and so on. So, that means like this you can go to create a number of parameters you can declare now. So, I just close it my bracket. Okay, so, in this way the parameter declaration should be do along with your function creation. Okay, and later on later what it is in you are going to use returns. So, just now we discuss here function is always uh, returns a value. So, that means here I am using returns keyword. Okay, I am using your returns keyword, but the returns keyword what it will be return. Okay, what I am going to returns through my function means here I am going to give you here. So, I will return attribute otherwise I can say parameter. So, parameter or we can say now I can say attribute or even though we can call as a variable also we can call variable data type okay variable data type so that means which pat parameter or which attribute which variable are you returning as a value so that parameter attribute variable data type should be mentioned at my return keyword okay i should return parameter data type okay which parameter are you returning okay so that you just uh, pass here later as and i'm using the begin block Okay, my execution block will be started and here I am going to write here my function body. So, even though you can say it is a statements and later what I want to do now I want to return I would see the first one we are using here what now returns keyword. 
okay and second one in body in execution part okay in execution part i'm using your return keyword so what it will be written now so now same thing i'm going to return i'm going to return same parameter okay or attribute okay or variable attribute variable name i want to give it now so here are the two cases you should required so what is the first one by using returns keyword i am going to returning the type of the variable data type of the variable and in my body function okay in my body function so i am going to return the parameter name okay which parameter do you want to return that parameter name should be pass it here and finally what do you want to do now i want to end my begin block so whatever the execution block will started here begin keyword and that execution block should ends with the end keyword okay so this is what simple i can say the syntax to create scalar valued function in tsql okay so now this is my syntax but after creating the syntax and after we know that the syntax how to prepare the pre syntax here already prepared here so now after function was created and we know that this function is going to store under database memory because it is a stored function so whatever the programmer is going to create a function the function is going to store in a memory in database memory that's why we called it is a stored functions we called okay now so but this stored function how to call to my application means i have a small syntax to call my application so the syntax to call i can set syntax to call a scalar valued valued function so okay how to call here yeah, the syntax i will give now syntax to call a scalar valued function okay so now you just define now okay my syntax to calling syntax now so functions is always uh, returns the value and functions is always calling with the select statement now i'm using the select statement and dbo database object is a user okay user name so dbo and i'm going to send my function name what is my function name i given at the time of creation that function we can use and later should pass along with function name i can pass your value single value or else you can send multiple values also as per your program requirement you can send a single value along with your function calling otherwise you can send multiple values along with your function calling so this is what we can say we are how to call your function we just a uh, calling like this okay so now this is what simply the scalar function okay definition okay this is scalar function definition and the syntax and calling syntax so these are three very important points you should remember when you want to work with your scalar valued function okay so now let us see one example how to prepare and how to create or how to write a program on scalar valued function as per user requirement okay so let us see one example i am going to preparing here i am going to give one example one sample example what is my example query okay so create a function create a scalar valued function okay i can say scalar valued function create a scalar valued function to returns because function is always returns yes or no yes that's why i'm using to returns okay the gross salary of the employee the gross salary of the employee based on the following conditions okay the following conditions i am going to give it now so what kind of conditions i am giving now okay the conditions i just applied here okay my first condition my first condition what is my first condition here hra so i am providing here 10% days okay to the employee and the second condition what is my second condition here okay what is my second condition da dear elevens so the company will give it a dear elevens is 20 percentages okay and the third one okay i am going to pass here the third one the third one is passing here pf provident fund of the employee the company will provide the provident fund is 10 percentages okay so these are what now my conditions and based on this condition what i want to find out here gross salary i want to find out okay okay this is what the question of okay your function and now based on this conditional values i'm going to write your program
Okay. So, let us see I am going to writing a small program on your valued or scalar valued function. Now, let us see the question understand now. So, once again the question I repeated here carefully listen. So, create a scalar valued function to returns the gross salary of the employee based on the following conditions. The following conditions one is HRA 10 percent is DA 20 percent is and PF 10 percent is again. Okay. So, these are my conditions now clear yes.